Hello, veteran 2 in here, welcome back, and this is a bonus episode of Tales of Symphonia. I just beat the Asalia Ranch again, and uh, this crap, thanks. Yeah, yeah, the deluxe suite. I don't know, I'm actually kind of interested to see... Uh, well, since Sheena was my highest character as far as affection the last time, uh, I'm going to try going to the suite later and see if I get Kratos showing up in his room. I don't know. I, I think that has something to do with affection or affinity or whatever. But I'm not sure. So it's, I guess it's a good thing that this is happening again because it's reminding me about it. Because I remember Sheena showed up the last time. Anyways, what you want to do is, yeah, you want to cross the bridge here, and... Oops. Apparently Sheena has a hole in her pocket. Uh, yes we did. Who are you? Joshua, huh? Really? At least she feels guilty for ditching him for a rich guy. Uh, yeah, we'll help her. Uh, I think if you say, I'm sorry, but we can't... The quest will not continue, but we want to continue, so we'll say, all right, we'll do it. And yeah, this girl's name is Rosa. So we got entrusted with 5,000 gold. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to Cybac, I believe. I think. I don't know, I might have to double check my little uh, guide, but um, whatever. Yeah, again, this is one of those missable quests, really easy to miss. So, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't think you really get anything for it. I mean, I think for doing this, you get the uh, pink pearl ring, which will um, add your... Um, your uh, collector's book. That way you can get that title for genus. But honestly, you don't really need it, probably. What's up? There you go, now you can go to school. What? What kind of bullshit is this? Why don't you give it to her yourself? Yeah, that's usually how it goes. I mean, I, I, I guess I see where this guy's coming from. Like, no, I don't want that bitch's money, but at the same time... It's like, take your fucking money, man. I mean, hell, she's actually... You know, she actually has remorse enough to fucking give you money back. I mean, how many women would actually do that? 
I mean, yeah, it is fucked up what she did to you originally, but she's trying to make up for it, right? I don't know why I was hopping on Noah's there. No Tokyo, right? I want to say this lady is probably right by the castle, I think. I believe the quest ends after the Flanor Doctor scene, so I'll be sure to show that off uh, when I get to it. I'm not that I'm not that far in the plot yet, obviously, because I haven't shown the Kratos scene yet, and I didn't go far enough north. I keep doing that. Like this square looks exactly the same as this square almost. Oh, yeah, we don't get we don't want to get caught by the pope. No sir. Yeah, we don't get yeah, we don't want to do that either. Okay, apparently I I read wrong. Hold on a minute. Okay, apparently I didn't go far enough this way. Where are you, Rosa? There you are. Five thousand bucks back. In other words, he doesn't want money from a skink like you. Master Cromwell. Wow, that stinks. See, I didn't know this. Parents owe this guy money, huh? Jeez, that sucks. Yeah, now I feel like a shithead too. Damn. We should go back to Cybeck. Pretty messed up, if you ask me. I mean, why couldn't she just tell him from the get-go that, you know, she has to be with this Master Cromwell guy because she's got to pay off her parents' debt? Why couldn't she fucking tell him that? Why'd she have to go and act like, oh, well, I don't fucking love you anymore and shit? See, that's... That's the problem with, with a lot of women, man. They just, they fucking think they're helping by lying or not telling you shit. And in actuality, they're not helping matters. They're fucking making shit worse. Fuck. Holy mackerel, that's crazy. So now we're doing this fucking runaround for these people. It should just be like, you know, sorting this crap out themselves, but whatever. Yeah, we're gonna tell the truth. I think if you keep quiet, uh, the quest ends, so in order to get another scene later on, you gotta tell the truth.
Wow, what a fucking mess, man. Yes, absolutely. Hands off. We don't need to interfere anymore, alright? But, yeah, we'll see a scene later on after the uh, Flanor Doctor event and uh, stuff like that. But, yeah, I, I don't think we can advance anymore at this point. Alright, about to show off the Kratos Flanor scene. Altessa just got hurt, if you remember. Lloyd just found out that Kratos was his dad. And, uh, yeah, he skits again. And there he is talking to himself again. Okay. Apparently Sheena is still my highest in affection. Yeah, those, those, uh, those four, uh, goodbye, see you later. Wow, that's some snow. Lloyd. So I guess Kratos is my highest in affection. Yeah, and there's one thing I need to mention. The GameCube version, uh, there, there's your top four, alright? Or actually, there is no top four, it's your top three. Uh, if you decline to talk to any of your top three characters, you will automatically talk to Kratos. That's the GameCube version. In this version of the game, Kratos must be in your top three in order for him to uh, uh, be talked to just here. Call my name? In the Flanor scene. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you could just decline your top three originally, and then Kratos will automatically be the one that, that Lloyd talks to. All right, so yeah, let's go outside. Maybe there's someone outside. Yeah, maybe there is. Huh. Guess I was just hearing things. Lloyd. Hey, buddy, what's Did up? You Where'd you I come was your from? Son the whole time? I realized it when I found Anna's grave at your house. How did Mom die? You know, don't you? Like Prasea. Anna was a research subject of the Angelus Project. They were trying to create a Crucius crystal inside her body. When I learned of Mythos's plan to create an age of lifeless beings, I turned against him and descended upon this land, where I met Anna. So Mom was an experimental subject, just like Prisea. After meeting Anna, I realized my mistake in believing that accepting Mythos's vision would be the fastest route to reunite the worlds. I began to search for a way for a human to wield the Eternal Sword. So you can unite the worlds? Yes. However, Anna and I were pursued by Crucius. We traveled from place to place, and when you were born with you as well, but we were finally caught by Kavar. And then Mom was turned into a monster. Her exphere was removed. Lacking a key crest, the mana in her body went out of control, and she turned into a monster. When it tried to devour you, Noish protected you, and Anna regained control of herself momentarily. 
Noish saved me? That's probably when Noish became sensitive to monsters. Noish and Anna were both wounded. Your mother begged me to kill her. I've heard enough. Anna went out of control again and turned on you. Then I... That's enough! I... killed her. I said that's enough! After that, Kavar attacked. Then you and Noish fell down the cliff along with the X-Fear. I fought off Kavar and his men and descended the cliff. But all that was left were the Desayan corpses, half eaten by monsters. I thought there was no way you could still be alive. Is that when you return to Crucius? I am the Origin Seal itself. Since killing me would break the seal, Yggdrasil couldn't just leave me alone. And you were okay with that? Even though you opposed what he was doing? Everything felt meaningless. Mythos said he would reunite the worlds as soon as Martell was revived. I came to think that as long as the land would return to normal, that would be enough. Until I met you. Me? You remind me of Mythos. Just like you, Mythos was desperately trying to save the world. He didn't give up. No matter how much he was oppressed, he was hopeful. Until the day Martell was killed. A hero. That's what people call him. Yes. But there is a clear difference between you and Mythos. Our race? No, not that. You realize that you are capable of making mistakes. Or rather, if you make a mistake, you are capable of acknowledging it. That takes courage. Mythos, as well as I, were unable to do that. The courage to acknowledge one's mistakes? We were incapable of correcting our flawed path. We gave up on correcting our mistakes. You didn't give up. If you feel that way, then you must have realized it by now. Mistakes can be corrected. It's not too late. Let's look for a way to release Origin without sacrificing your life. Together. I still have something I must do. Until I am able to entrust it to you, I cannot fight alongside you. Something you have to do? The Eternal Sword. Until I am able to entrust it to you, do not die, Lloyd. Kratos, where are you going? Do not allow Yggdrasil to continue as he pleases. He is capable of sacrificing any number of lives. Stop Yggdrasil, stop Mythos, before Colette is taken from you again. I'll stop him. I'll head to Daris Carlon and put an end to this. So begins the Kratos path. Oh, Noish! What's that in your mouth? <coughs> A pendant? What is... It's Kratos and... Mom? Then... This baby must be... <coughs> Kratos gave this to you, didn't he? Oh? Okay. I'll hang on to it. Then we get Kratos' locket. Which is one of the items for the collector book. Guys, how's Altessa? So in order to actually fill out the collector book, you'd have to like play through this game three times. He somehow <laughs> Which managed to recover. I'm not gonna do that annoying doctor was really as good as they said. Yeah, because uh, the other character that gives you an item, if you view their scene at Flanor here, is, uh, is Zelos. Some people but, from um, Mizuho are yeah, watching Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Just Good. I need to speak with everyone. The world is never going to change if we just wait for Crucius to make the next move, right? So this time, we're going to strike them first. Well, so you're finally ready to do it. We're going to raid Crucius. Yeah, I have two objectives. Prevent the establishment of Mythos's New Age, and release Origin. But if you release Origin, what about Kratos? I don't really know yet. We don't know for certain that he'll actually die. We also don't know if he'll side with us or not. We don't have the time to worry about things we're not sure of. 
What do you intend to do about the Eternal Sword? Even if you break Origin's seal, you can't wield it, remember? And I doubt either Genus or I would be able to handle a sword. Don't worry about that. I've got it covered. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm kind of going through this sword? fast because we've seen this already. With the latest in, in other words, I'm a human with elven blood in me. That should work, shouldn't it? Then I guess this will be the final battle. Understood. Let us end this. Now, one thing I do need to mention, at this point, before you go back to the Tower of Salvation, any side quests that have to do with Zalos, do them the now. Of uniting the worlds. If you plan on getting Kratos back in your party. Yeah. Because uh, you won't be able to do any quests that involve Zelos uh, later on. I need you to stay behind. Uh, because he'll be gone. Why? They want you as Martel's vessel. We'll have either Mizuho or the Renegades hide you. If that's what you want. No, I'm going too. But <laughs> I get it. You don't think you can protect her. And another thing too, if you want to go through the uh, Coliseum again with Zelos and that fight so Celeste sad. to get an extra last fencer and elemental circlet, you can at this point. What did you say? I'm not gonna bother because yeah, later on you'll be able to fight with Kratos in the Coliseum and fight Celeste Don't again. I will be showing that off, of course. Uh, great Zelos. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna bother doing that again. I mean, Zelos. I guess the good thing of doing that is uh, you can get another elemental circlet, but. I don't think I really need one. Along, I'll be fine. We're gonna be after her, no matter where she is. Plus, I'm just too lazy to go to go fight with Zelos again, and without his double now. arm. Yeah, because at this man, point, I don't have. This point, I don't have their double arm weapons, so fuck wow. that. That, would, that means I'd actually one. have to like, like really, really Sorry, try. But I agree with Zelos this time. All right, Colette will. Thank you, Lloyd. Yeah, Colette's coming too. Does Tethelia really have a technology like that? It sure does, for some weird reason. All right, let's go kick some Crucius butt, Lloyd. Zelos, can I really trust you? What are you saying? Of course you can trust me. I'm the type that responds to people's trust. Really? Really, 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 come on, let's go. Yeah, can we really trust you? Not in this scenario. Now, apparently Zelos really doesn't like Kratos, and the fact that we've been putting our trust in Kratos, and the fact that, uh, you know, we put more trust in Kratos than him, I don't think he likes that very much. Anyways, uh, there's one last thing I want to do in this episode, and I think it has to do with, uh, that, that quest for the pink pearl ring, or whatever it is. One last thing I want to show off here. I don't... See, that's the thing, I don't remember where I have to go. It's either Cybac or Mount Tokyo. Okay, I just looked it up. Apparently they're hanging around in the slums of all places. So I guess they gave up all their money just to be together. How romantic. No, they're both poor. Banished. Wow, that really fucking sucks, man. What? They cut off his hand? That sounds like something that would happen to Jamie Lannister. Holy shit. And I can't see his right hand right now, but, uh, that really sucks. Oh, no. He still got it, I guess. He just can't use it? What the hell happened to his right hand? So he gave him his pink pearl ring back. Is he gonna give it back to us, then? Why don't you, yeah, just, uh, ask Zolos for some help. He's got cash.
Yeah, man. Who cares? Just get readmitted. Take any help you can get. Alright, so that's it. That's the end of that little quest. It's pretty pointless, but it's uh, world building, quote unquote, so to speak. So anyways, that is all for this episode of Tales of Symphonia. Again, any side quests that you want to do with Zalos at this point that requires Zalos, do them now, because if you go back to Tower of Salvation after viewing the Flanor Dr. Sima Kratos, you will not have Zalos in your party anymore. This is Veteran 0 and 2-1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and all. See you next time.